What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is the Daily Team. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? I think I got some chocolate on my lips. Sorry. Um. Hope everybody is doing well today. For real, for real, for real. I do, I do, I do, do. Um. Daily tea is a little different than my other readings. It's a more general current pulling of the energy. It's supposed to resonate 24 to 72 hours out from the time that you view it. However, everyone's on different time and life paths. So for some of you guys, it may resonate outside the 72 hour time frame. Just saying. Um, I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. I just want to make that very abundantly clear. We're at um, 12,155, I think, right now, subscribers. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. You guys are just a bomb.com. For real, for real, for real. Love you guys so much. Um, I received a channeled in as I was meditating on y'all's uh, on the Daily Tea's energy today because I decided to do Daily Tea for y'all. Um, I have done some of it real quick before we get into it. I'm working on the mid-April readings, but I'm only doing them when I feel guided to do the signs. Like, for example, I've done two Scorpio readings. I had not planned on doing that, but spirit guided me to do two scorpio readings and each every both of those readings are completely different so it's different messages for different scorpios um um and i've done leos cats libra libra's last night and the full moon in libra um just saying just saying right under the full moon i was doing libra's reading which i think was amazing but um i felt guided to do libra's reading at that time um so just saying just saying so leo double scorpio caps um libra and i think that's it right now i think uh, aquarius and aquarius um but if i feel guided to others to do other signs i will that's just kind of how i'm doing it right now okay because to me that's the most natural way to do it so that's how i'm doing it okay so um i did receive a channel message so i'm going to put it out I hope everybody is doing fantastical my dears. I do, I do, I do. Um, the channel message I received was a feminine energy that has been uh, performing very heavy fire fire magic, I heard. And then I heard some sex magic. Um, um, it is about to severely backfire on them. For one of these feminine energies, it will cause a house fire in the place that they have performed this candle magic. Um, for some, they will, um, they are about to attract many suitors that they do not want coming towards them. Um, for some, they will get ill. So that's what I heard. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, wow. Um, candle magic strong, feminine energy, candle magic strong. So this, uh, I was, I did a reading, I think it was, um, six, maybe six, months ago or something like that uh, maybe it was four or five six months ago something like that but it was a masculine scorpio doing candle magic on a fire sign film this is not a, obviously not a masculine scorpio doing fire um candle magic on a fire sign film this is a feminine energy doing candle magic and some sex magic on a masculine energy so it's completely different than the other reading that i did like four or five six months ago Completely different people is what I'm saying. These are fem energies um, doing this. Um, they're doing it. It sounds like for they're doing it. Some of them it sounds like on sex magic end. Um, they're doing fire magic, some kind of fire magic, incorporating sex magic into it. I think to bring um, who they want in to them sexually. Um, I wonder if some of them are succubuses. I didn't hear they were, but I'm feeling some of them may be. Because if you're that heavy and deep into something like that, you probably do have already summoned a sex demon onto you. Um, because you're into attracting the people you want to attract to you. So succubuses, of course, they attract, um, they summon up the um, sex demons attach onto themselves so their sex is so grand so i mean that would make sense for some of them I'm, i didn't hear that they did have succubus energies attached to them but i've been picking up 
a lot of succubus energy in the collective space recently. So for some of them, possibly. I didn't hear that was the case, but that's just my intuitive feeling on this. Um, but however that resonates, it's definite, definite feminine energies doing this fire magic. I heard one of the, it's two plus in the universe. You have to plug these people in your life, however they resonate. It could be you, it could be somebody you're connected to. However that resonates. But one of them I heard, um, it, the fire magic is going to backfire. It's going to backfire, period. It's going to backfire. But in different ways, it sounds like. One of them I heard their house, um, not their house, but wherever they're doing this candle magic, I don't know if they're doing it outside. I don't know if they're doing it in their home, in somebody else's home, in a vehicle, a public space. I hope not a public space, but, you know, you never know. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, probably not a public space, probably not. But wherever they're doing it, it's going to backfire and cause fire. So... Hope they have insurance, just saying, just saying, for one of them. Um, or whoever's home they're doing it in, just saying, just saying, or space or vehicle, or what have you. That's for at least one of them. It's going to backfire in the way of a fire, a physical fire. Um, the other one, which I just want to point out, there's been a lot of fire energy in my readings too. That and the wildfire that's about to come on a dirty family's land. Um, a lot of fire energy. That was one, for one of these fem energies, dark arts fem energies. For another one, I heard they're going to get ill. So it's going to energetically boomerang back on them in the form of an illness on themselves, it sounds like. For one. Um, and what was the other one? Um, there was another one. Hold on. Oh, yeah. The other one was um, they're going to attract, and I heard suitors, so plural, two or two plus suitors that they didn't want to come to them. So they're trying to manifest and manifest and manifest um, this one particular suitor or suitors to them with this sex magic, candle magic business, but it's about to backfire for one, at least one of them in the form of several suitors coming towards them but it's not those suitors they wanted it's other people <laughs> um i hope it's not obsessive energy um i hope it's not it might be um for some of them it might be um but the point with that is it's people they completely do not want sexually romantically etc 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 gonna be coming towards them and that's that that type of way um so that's the third backfiring it's not the person they want to come towards them that way it is a different person um whether these people are masculine or feminine but it's definitely a feminine energy doing the fire magic for sure for sure um however that resonates um wow 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 pretty strong energy uh just saying just saying okay so i'm gonna pull a couple cards I hope everybody is having a fantastical Easter on April 17th of 2022. Just saying, just saying, I am. I hope everybody else is. It's very peaceful in my little abode. Um, I'll just chat while we're shuffling. Um, me and my own went to um, uh, Walmart yesterday and um, did not a lot of shopping, but just very a little bit. And I got these wonderful little um, yard um not ornaments, you know, not ornaments, but decorative items for my yard. Um, it's really spruced it up. It makes it look, I mean, it's the little things in life. I'm just saying, it's just like, I got a little bird bath. It was only, it was 15 bucks. Um, my son helped me put it, put it together. That looks nice out there. And then um, some globes for the yard and um, a cool little grain wind chime. I've never seen one of those before. I'm sure they've been out for a minute, hot minute, but you know, it's the little things. I'm just saying. Okay. Spirit messages you have reflected. Okay. So we have rebirth, reverse, concealment, upright. I heard take it. Take it. Okay. 
Oh, it's secret. And I heard take it big. Oh, my God. Okay. Spirit messages. Okay. Imagination reverse. Okay. Okay. With hex reversed on the bottom of the deck. It's about to backfire. Um, you know, I heard channel message in here. The candle magic is about to backfire. It is about to backfire. This is confirmation in the messages and the cards that it's about to backfire. With the hex reversed, it's about to boomerang back um, onto them. Um, and we heard three different ways how it's about to boomerang back. One in the form of some kind of fire. One in the form of um, the, one of the candle magic, feminine energy, fire magic doers about to get ill. And the other one was, um, uh, what was it? Um Oh, people coming towards them in a sexual or romantic manner they don't want. They're manifesting the wrong people, basically. Um, not the person they're trying to manifest with this se a sex magic, candle magic type business. Um, so three different ways it's about to backfire on these femme energy, fire magic people. Um, and that's confirmation with the cards with the hex reversed. It's about to reverse back on them is what I'm feeling. It's about to, Well, I, actually, it's not. I'm feeling it, but I heard it. I mean, it is going to boomerang back on them. It's about to boomerang back on them. We have the hex reversed. It is about to energetically boomerang back, i.e. reverse back onto them. Confirmation with the card. Wow. Rebirth reversed. I don't, it, they're not going to get the desired result that they want with this. And I'm just being serious. Um, that's that is such confirmation in here with the messages and the cards rebirth reverse banishment reverse energetically about to boomerang back on them they're not they're not going to get the rebirth with this person whether it's a masculine or femme person they're trying to manifest in with this fire magic sex magic business they're not going to get the result they want the rebirth is not going to happen um i feel for a lot of these people they might have been sexually connected to them in the past or romantically connected to them in the past and they're trying to re-manifest them back in with um, fire magic, sex, sex magic and um, because they want them in their life so bad they want a rebirth, reconciliation but it's not going to happen. Um, rebirth, reversed hex, reversed the hex, curse, whatever the crap they're doing over there dark arts something something is about to reverse reverse man and we have concealment and secret upright. So they're not telling these people, whether it's masculine or feminine energies, they're trying to manifest in with this fire magic and sex magic. Um, they're not obviously not telling them they're doing the fire magic. Only. Obviously. Hey, I want you so bad. I've been obsessing over you all this time. I put fire magic on you. You do that crap. Somebody's going to try to commit your ass to a mental institution. I mean, and I, I mean, same people would, and I'm just being serious about that. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I would hope to God they wouldn't go up and do something like that. Um, I mean, what? <laughs> Imagine if somebody come to you and said that shit. I mean, I mean, you know what I'm saying? I mean, holy freaking A. So I'm sure they're not. Hey, I want you so bad. I think about you day and night. I'm so obsessed. I put fire magic on you. <laughs> What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> can you can you stay over there? Can you far over there, please, please? <laughs> I mean, that's what I would do. Oh my lord! <laughs> so my point is, of course they're not gonna come off like that. Of course they're not. I mean, I don't think these people have all their screws correctly placed on there, but I don't think they would go to that great of lengths. Is what I'm trying to say. Um, so, of course, it's concealment upright with the secret. Secret, they've been putting fire magic on them, sex magic on them. They want them to come hither in the sex realm. I do feel succubus energy. I still have not heard succubus energy in here, but I am feeling some succubus energy. And I was pulling heavy femme um, succubus energy in Scorpio's reading. Um, there's a Scorpio masculine dealing very heavily with some either one succubus energy or two plus succubus energies. And I'm just being for real, for real. Um, so I'm serious. I'm just being serious.
Someone's getting a huge wake-up call. Huge. Okay, I heard someone's getting a huge wake-up call. Huge. That's what I just heard. So, um, maybe you're getting a huge wake-up call about fire magic in general or sex magic. Maybe you didn't know um, sex magic existed. It really does. Um, and people you use fire magic for many things. But the one of the main reasons people use fire magic is for sex sex magic conjuring um and or and that's just the truth that's the truth um i mean i've never done any of this i've never done any of this but um since i've been doing i've never done any dark arts period for me personally i never have but when i started getting these clear audience messages from the spiritual universe i had to research all this crap because i was trying to figure out why i was getting these messages so i when i get these messages sometimes i don't know what they are and if you watch my readings or you've been on my channel for a hot minute, you know that because sometimes I have to look up these, the meanings of some of these words. But I've learned with you guys over these two years. Uh, for anybody who's been with me a hot minute, you know that. I've learned, we all learn together some of this stuff. But it is true. They do. They do use this crap um, and they use it heavy. Um, and I've come to realize that I am a vessel to deliver these messages and i don't mind doing that i actually really enjoy and love to do this for you guys because it wakes up the collective it wakes up the world we all need to be aware of this kind of stuff um i feel uh, and that's one of the reasons why i do what i do and that's the truth A mole, a, a huge mole is very significant on one of these fire magic wielders. Oh, okay. I heard a huge mole is very significant on one of these fire magic wielders. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So um, it's at least two plus fem magic mire, uh, magic mire, that same word, fire magic wielders in the universe. But at least one of these people has a huge mole um, somewhere on their body. Um, so concealment, they didn't want people to know that they are a fire, fire magic wielder. Maybe one of you guys is about to figure this out. Um, if you know somebody that has a huge mole and you're, you maybe you start feeling like you, um, well, whoever you are, the fire magic is not, um, the sex magic is not going to go to you, it sounds like. It sounds like it's about energetically boom right back on them. So it, I don't think it's even going to touch you, to be honest. Um, I'm serious, because I heard it's going to back, it's going to backfire on them. So I don't even think it's going to get to you. But one of these people, it's significant, apparently, that one of these people has a large mole. Uh, I heard a huge mole on them. So if you were maybe suspecting that maybe they were a uh, dark arts magic person and then you notice maybe you didn't notice they had a very large huge slash huge mole on their body and then you realize they do maybe that's confirmation somehow a a huge mole on one of these fire magic wielders is significant so i think maybe one of you guys is about to figure out one of these fire magic wielders is what i'm feeling with the secret and the concealment maybe you're about to see this huge mole uh, and maybe for some of them, it's in a concealed area. Um, like maybe it's like by a, a perineal region or maybe it's um, on the side of their ankle or maybe it's by a breast or on their back in a place that clothes hides it. Maybe um, with it becoming springtime, closest in spring, well, it's not summer, but springtime, um, maybe they wear something where you see this very large mold. Um, how that resonates. Secret. Someone has been secretly collecting someone's hair and skin follicles. A masculine energy. He's about to pick up on the fact this person has been 
to use for potions. He's about to destroy it all and steal the rest of the contents. Oh my God, what is going on? You, oh my God, somebody is serious about some dark arts shit and I am serious. Uh, whoa, oh my God, wow. <laughs> That is hardcore right there. Um, masculine energy, you need to, well, whoever you are, you're highly intuitive. Um, I think you already know. You either already know or you're about to pick up on the fact. Maybe this reading helps at least one of you guys pick up on this. Um, but I feel for, for a majority of you guys, you probably already know. And I'm serious. Um, yikes. I think you're dealing, you already know you're dealing with somebody on the dark side. And I'm serious. Maybe you're trying to break free from this person. Or you're making secret plans to break free from this person. I hope you are. Because this this person, they're not playing around. And they are super into this. I, I'm just, whoever that person is, I'm serious. Um, so much so, they're still in at least one of you masculine energies, hair follicles, and skin particles for some kind of potion. Um, but one of you guys has already figured it out. Or you're about to figure it out. And I heard you're about to restill back all the contents and destroy it destroy it and restore back all your content so i guess they probably i'm presuming they probably have a little jar or bottle of skin particles um maybe masculine energy you like to file your heels like your heels or your nails and they go and they collect all the shavings and put it in this jar or jar for it's some kind of potion um that is so sick that is so sick but one of you guys either knows this is going on or you're about to figure out it is. And I heard you're about to steal it all back. It's yours. So it's not you stealing. It's you taking back what's yours. Um, and destroy some of it. So I feel one of you, it might at least be two of you guys in the universe. I feel maybe for one, you might destroy it. And one, you might just steal it back. Um, and it's really not stealing if it's yours to begin with. And that's the truth. Um, that could be the secret energy too. For some, you might figure this out soon. For some, you might have already figured it out um, with the concealment. I knew something deep, dark, and dooku was going on in here. Um, yeah, definitely that. They're you. They're creating some kind of potion or something with your skin particles and hair hair follicles. Um, I wonder if it's that. I was pulling in some kind of love potion number nine, love potion in Libra's reading yesterday. So I wonder if somebody's creating a love potion with masculine energy with your hair follicles and skin particles. Um, whoever you are, masculine energy, I feel you're very attractive. I'll tell you that. I didn't hear you were, but intuitively, I feel you have to be very attractive because especially if they're making a love potion with it, I didn't hear they were, but I feel maybe one of them they are. Because if they are, they're making a love potion with it. They would want somebody attractive to make the love potion with, is what I'm saying. Um, bar none. They would want the hair follicles and the skin particles of somebody that is attractive in their love potion. If they truly, I don't, love potions don't work. They don't work. But if they, this person truly believes they do or really wants it to, logical sense of reasoning would be to get it off somebody that's attractive is what I'm trying to say. So somebody needs to be careful. I feel you are an attractive male. Um, dealing with dark arts, stem energy. Somebody, I think one of you guys already knows this is going on. One, you're about to pick up on it possibly. Please be careful. Please. In this aspect with the secret and concealment, it is your hair follicles, your hair, and your skin. So, like I said, how are they getting your skin other than maybe you filing your nails or you um, getting that exfoliating pad like on the pads of your hand or your heels. And when you do your heels, it makes the dead skin fall off real easy. So, they might be doing it that way. Oh, let me clean that up for you, dear. But what you don't know is they're cleaning it up for you into a little jar. Yikes. Let me see if I hear anything else. This is you. But one of you, I bet one of you guys is about to bust this crap. Bust this crap. I heard you about to take it back. You're about to take back to your literal skin particles and hair follicles. Good for you.
Okay, I didn't hear anything else. A particular masculine energy is about to share with one of their one of their favorite readers, real favorite readers, a link to someone else's terror channel. For one of these instances, it will result in a lawsuit. This ma this masculine energy knows this, but they know it's the right thing to do. They want to help. Wow, holy crap, man. So masculine energy, you're coming in very strong. But in this aspect, it's because somebody, I feel for a lot of these femme energy, sex, magic, fire wielder, fire magic wielder people, they're doing it on masculine energies. For some, they could be doing it on femme energies possibly. But I feel for a majority of you guys, you're my masculine collective. I feel they're doing it on. There's a reason I'm getting these messages. So I think it's for you, a majority of my masculine collective, whoever you are and however you apply, only you know your story, not anybody else. So please don't force these messages if they don't fit. But if they do, of course, feel free to take them. But I'm serious. I feel uh, several of my masculine collective, this is for you. There's a reason I'm getting this today. And I'm serious. Um, I'm serious. But one of you masculine uh Masculine energies. I heard you're about to share with one of your favorite real talk um, femme tarot card readers. Um, I heard a link to um, somebody else's tarot card reading channel. And I heard one of you guys knows it's going to result in a lawsuit. Um, but I heard you already know this, but you know it's the right thing to do. So you know there's two. You have a favorite real talk femme tarot card reader for sure, for sure. Whoever you are, masculine energy for sure. On one spectrum. But there is a, you know of another tarot card reader. I think they're either copying their work or, um, I think they're copying their work or they have um, violated some kind of copyright, um, some kind of copyright um, infringement or something of that nature. But somehow you sharing this link of this uh, with your fa one of your favorite real talk femme tarot card readers, the link to the other uh, tarot card reader them tarot card reader is about to um cause a lawsuit i think it might be because of copyright infringement possibly or um or yeah i think it's copyright infringement or stealing someone's work or defamation of character or something of that nature something of that nature um there's a reason you know what both of these fem tarot card readers you know you know of them one of them is one of your favorite real talk them tarot card readers. I think that this is the person you're about to share the link with. I think you know this person doesn't know of the other reader, but this other reader has kept themselves concealed and secret from the other reader for a reason. Um, I think it's to steal their work or to defame their character or to steal from them in some shape, form, or fashion is what I'm feeling. But you're about to pay it forward to them and share the link. I heard it's going to cause a lawsuit, but you already know this, but you're going to do the right thing. So this person don't play. This person don't play. You're one of your real tall, thin tarot card readers. You know they don't play, in all fairness, and they shouldn't play. And that's just the truth. So it sounds like you're about to share the link with this person of this other person's channel. Um, and I feel they're both very public platforms. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. All right, you guys. I hope this helped. Love you guys so much. And namaste.